This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson seven, multiply mixed numbers. Please have your homework helper. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Let's look at this sample. A swimming pool has two diving boards. The shorter diving board is two and one fourth yards high. The taller diving board is one and one third the height of the shorter board. How tall is the taller diving board? Okay, so we're going to multiply two and one fourth times one and one third. If we look right here, okay, the first thing that we need to do, we're going to write each mixed number as an improper fraction, but let's take a look right here. You can see that if this is a whole, that I need two and one fourth, and if this is a whole, I need one and one third. So then when I count up all my pieces, that's what my answer will be. But what we're going to do is convert or change the mixed number into an improper fraction and then multiply. So let's look at 2 and 1 fourth. 2 and 1 fourth means 2 wholes and 1 fourth. So I have to divide the 2 into fourths. So how I can do that is do 4 times 2. I'll put a time sign to remind me here. If I take 2 times 4, that gives me 8. That's how many uh, fourths I would have in two wholes. And then I have one extra one, so I'll add that one. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So my answer here would be 9 fourths. And then I take 1 and 1 third. I'll do it over here, 1 and 1 third. I have to think how many thirds would be in a whole. Well, there's three, and I can do that by multiplying three times one is three, plus one is four, so it'd be four thirds. Okay, so I have four times nine and four times three. Okay, so I can do it this way. Four times nine is 36, and four times three is 12. And now I divide, and I can find that the diving board is three yards higher. All right, let's tr practice one or two more, and then you're on your own. Okay, I need to change five and one-third into thirds. So if I multiply thirds times five, that'll tell me how many thirds there are in five holes, and that's 15. And then I have one left, so I'll add that, and that will be 16. So I'll have 16 thirds. And the way I do that, I call it around the world, I can do 4 times 1 is 4, and then plus 1 is 5. So I'll have 1 here. Okay, so I will do 16 times 5, and 3 times 1, and then simplify. Okay, let's look at the next one. 1 and 2 fifths times 3 and 1 sixth. The first thing I need to do is change 1 and 2 fifths into all fifths. So I can do that by going 5 times 1 is 5, and then I'll plus 2 is 6, 7, so I'll have 7 fifths, times by, I need 3 and 1 six divided up into 6. So if I go 6 times 3, I have 18, I know I'd have 18 six, plus 1 more is 19, so I'll have 19 six. And then I'll multiply and get the answer. You'll do the same thing here. Hey, let's look on the back. The table shows some ingredients in lasagna. If you make three times the recipe, how many cups of cheese are needed? Well, I'm going to take the cheese, two and two thirds, and I'm going to times it by three if I'm going to three times the recipe. So I will need to change this into an improper fraction. I need to change two and two thirds into all thirds. So I can do that by going three times two is six, and then adding. 7, 8. So I will have 8 thirds multiplied by 3 ones. And go ahead and figure that one out. Karen pitch, purchased a square picture frame. Each side measures 1 and 1 fourth feet. What is the area of the picture frame in square feet? Here's the picture frame, and it's 1 and 1 fourth, and this side's 1 and 1 fourth, this side's 1 and 1 fourth, all sides are 1 and 1 fourth. I need to find the area. To find area, I'm going to do length times width. So I'll do 1 and 1 fourth multiplied by 1 and 1 fourth. So then, from there, I need to change this into an improper fraction. 
And I can do that by going 4 times 1 plus 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So that will be 5 fourths. Oh, and this is 1 and 1 fourth. So when I change it, it will be 5 fourths. And then I'll go ahead and solve that. Number six, it takes Marty one and one fourth hours to get ready for school. If one fifth of that time is used to shower, what fraction of an hour does it take him to shower? Well, I'll need to do one and one fourth hours multiplied by one fifth of that time. Okay, this, the fraction is fine, but I do need to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. So I'll do four times one is four, and four plus one is five. So I'll have five fourths multiplied by one-fifth, okay, and get the answer there. Callisto built a rectangle sign, rectangular sign that measured two and three-fourths feet in length by one and one-half feet in length. To find the area, multiply the length and width. What is the area of the sign in square feet? Write an equation to solve. Okay, to solve area, I need to do length times width. Well, the length is two and three-fourths, and the width is one and one half feet. Oh, they're both written in feet. So I'll need to um, change this into an improper fraction. So I do four times two is eight, plus three is 11. So I'll have 11 fours. And then I'll do two times one is two, plus one is three. So I'll have three halves. And then I solve the equation. Antoinette bought two and two thirds pounds of grapes. If she bought bananas that weighed one and one-fourth times as much as the grapes, how much did the bananas weigh? Well, I'll take two and two-thirds and multiply by one and one-fourth. I'm gonna do it around the world, or three times two is six, seven, eight, so I have eight-thirds, and four times one is four, plus one more is five, so I have five-fourths. And then I solve the equation. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.